Burning Lotus is a photographer and she's a model on a site called DeviantArt that I subscribe to. She's a gorgeous lady and she's got this big, enormous tattoo covering the whole of her back. And the tattoo is so colourful, I thought it would be a wonderful project for vector drawing. Now, if you've never used Adobe Illustrator, then this video is not going to show you how to use it. If you're an expert, then you'll know everything in the video anyway. But if you're a beginner, I think this is just the video for you. So, let's just get in there and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we're in. So, first of all, what I want to do is to um, open the new artboard and I want that to be A4 and portrait. So I'll click OK on there. And there we are. Now I want to place a photograph into that artboard, which is also A4 and portrait. So if I go into File, Place, and in my WIP file here, I've got a picture called Leaning. So double click on that, and there she is, the gorgeous Burning Lotus. Right, into the Layers panel here, and just lock it. Right, so now I want to draw all around the body, getting the complete outer body shape. So I'll magnify up just a bit. Like that. Go into my pen tool. And I think a good a place as any to start is just there. I'll come down to here. Follow the shape around. Get rid of that fill there and then click off. You don't always have to click off, but I, I, I'm always sort of more comfortable with doing it and clicking back on to the anchor and back down to there like that. The most important part is to try and get that flow down there. And I'm not happy with with that line, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, undo pen, and let's just see if we can get that again. That's right, so it'll be better like that. And click off again, back onto the anchor, and again, get in the shape, and there. And so on and so forth, so that you can get a nice line down there following the shape of the body. If I get that back to normal size, and the idea is to go all around, back up, across, and then click back onto the anchor there, and then you have a close path, and you can then uh, generate whatever fill you want.